Now, land reform is a hot topic across South Africa as the country considers changing its constitution to allow the expropriation of land without compensation explicitly. The policy is designed to redistribute land to poor black people to tackle severe inequality 24 years after the end of apartheid. VOA's Paul Ndiho reports. Stakes are high as South Africans are geared up for general elections in 2019. This will be the sixth election held since the end of the apartheid system. The African National Congress Party, which has ruled since the end of apartheid in 1994, is facing an uphill battle to retain its dominance and is proposing constitutional changes to address land issues. The fight over land reform is expected to be a fierce political battle, but a South African president, Cyril Ramaphosa, says the proposed land reform is a lawful process that seeks to correct the legacy of decades of white minority rule that stripped black people of their land. People of South Africa, of all races, are working together through parliament and indeed a number of other formations and legal platforms to find a solution to this historic challenge. In August, U.S. President Donald Trump weighed in on the issue with a controversial treat in which he ordered U.S. officials to investigate the situation. Julius Malema, head of Economic Freedom Fighters Party, warned that his supporters would increasingly seize unoccupied land to put pressure on the government to redistribute land to black people. The most practical way to get the land is to occupy the unoccupied land to put pressure on the state and it has worked because now the state and the owners of the land are beginning to say maybe we should do something. The EFF won just over 8% in the 2016 local elections and hoped to make a breakthrough in the 2019 general elections by tapping into frustrations among millions of young and poor South Africans. Black South Africans are comprised of 80% of the population, but own just 4% of the country's land, according to government records. Musi Mamini, leader of Democratic Alliance, South Africa's largest opposition party, while launching its campaign ahead of a highly contested elections in 2019, told supporters in Johannesburg that the campaign will be about land reform. There is an injustice in our country which lies at the heart of the land question. We will ensure that more black South Africans are able to own land through secure private property rights all across South Africa. The South African government has also come under the scrutiny of groups such as Afri Forum, the group CEO says they fear they could have their land taken away from them in the midst of this racially charged national debate over land reform. The figures are being portrayed falsely as if uh, white people own all the land, which as I've said is only 22%, and that is being abused to try and mobilize people, um, to um, building up hatred towards uh, the white community. The land debate in South Africa is sparking similar sentiments in neighboring Namibia. A report that tabled at the National Land Conference last month said 995,000 people out of Namibia's total population of 2.4 million live in informal settlements and white commercial farmers own 70% of the farmland. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.